Hello guys, this is Mirza Frikan Adil and I'm your instructor of 3ds Max basic 3D modeling. So this tutorial is about the making of the 3D DVD cover. The interesting thing is I'm going to add some images on the 3D surfaces. So these are the images. This is this is actually for C D and guys this is me this is my picture I'm and I'm going to paste these images on the DVD cover and this is the back of the DVD cover and my name on it and this is the front of the DVD cover so guys let, let's get started to model a DVD cover I'm going to open the 3ds Max and the first step to create an object Go to the extended primitives, select the chamfer box, and uh, I have selected the chamfer box. Drag on the viewport, and now it's complete the uh, chamfer box. I'm going to maximize the viewport and rotate a little bit. And I'm gonna change the width, sorry, length of the chamfer box, and I'm going to increase the fillet segments to three. Okay. If you want to see the segments of the object, press F4 uh, to view the wireframe. frame structure of the object and uh, now I'm going to add one more segment in the middle of the chamfer box so go to the no wait not sorry lens segment now we have lens segment in the mid middle now next step is to add base material, apply base material, press M for the material select one uh, standard material change the color to this a little bit darker and I'm going to add a little bit speckle level and increasing the glossiness okay now apply to the box. Now box is fully black. Now the second step we're going to add images on this material. Now select the one material, second material and rename it. I'm going to rename this material by front. Okay, now, now I'm going to add the front image. Click on the diffuse box and click on the bitmap. Double click on the bitmap. And here we have front image. Go back and turn on the show standard map in viewport. It allows you to view this image on the viewport and like the third material and change the name I'm going to add name mid and go to the uh, diffuse again click on the box and double click on the bitmap and like the mid jpeg and open it now go back and click on the show stand map in report and now we are here for the fourth material which is actually back rename back and um, click the diffuse box double click on the bitmap and select the back image and open back 
and click on the show starting map in view four. Now for the fifth, the final material for the CD, rename the material to CD and click on the diffuse box scan, bit map, and here we have CD texture. You can search on the Google for the uh, texture. And um, now we're going to apply these three materials, three images on the DB case. Uh, close the material and convert this object into polygon. Go to the polygon modeling toolbar and convert to poly. And now we have five sub objects. Okay, one is vertex, second is edge, third is border, and fourth polygon, fifth is element. And now I'm going to select the face of the object by selecting polygon. And now press the M for the material. Just select the front material and drag to the drag on the box. And next step, this is not fit on the box. Image is not fit. So click on the modify list while selecting the polygon and drop down the tab. And we have here the UVW map. This tool is very useful to adjust the image from the material. Look, uh, click on the box. Now it's it will fit in the face that we have selected. Now the next step is to convert uh, this box into poly again. Go to uh, polygon modeling and convert to poly. And now select these faces. Deflect that one. And uh, open the material again. And drag. Mater mid material to the object selected faces and we're going to add UVW map again go to the multiple list and here we have UVW map <coughs> okay and click on the box again now I have my name on it. Okay, same procedure. Select the polygon modeling and convert the poly. Select the face and material editor again and drag the back material to the DVD case. And now the UVW map. Click on the box. Now we have complete the DVD case. <coughs> now I'm going to convert it to the final, finally polygon, uh, polygon edit poly. And um, I'm going to select the middle line. Select edge and I'm going to select this segment and by holding the uh, control key I'm selecting the other segment oops just zoom a little bit
Okay, now we have selected the middle line, middle segment of the object. Now I'm going to chamfer it. Go to the chamfer setting and adjust the chamfer amount to this. And I'm going to open the edge, open chamfer, and hit OK. Now we have open face. Okay. Now we have complete with the uh, DVD case. Turn off the edge. And now it's, it's time to make a disk. To do this, go to standard primitives and I'm going to add to. Okay. Now from here I'm going to increase the size of the set, uh, of the object. Go to the modify panel and increase the amount of the size. Um, that should be useful. And I'm going to decrease the high segment because we don't need it. Okay. Now select the object, go to the polygon modeling and I'm going to drag the material this material to the tube and same thing turn on the show map in uh, show starting map in report and I'm going to apply the UVW map let's actually fit it Okay. Now select. Go to the polygon modeling again. And turn on the polygon, and select these faces. Okay, uh, <clears throat> now I'm going to...